In this video, we will discover every pertinent medical fact about cardiac catheterization. What is cardiac catheterization? Cardiac catheterization is a procedure in which a thin, flexible, hollow tube called a catheter will be inserted into a large blood vessel that leads to your heart. What are the benefits of cardiac catheterization? A cardiac catheterization reveals information about how well your heart is functioning, spots issues, and enables actions to unblock blocked arteries. With contrast dye administered through the catheter, we can obtain X-rays during cardiac catheterization to look for constricted or blocked coronary arteries. Coronary arteriography or angiography is the term used for this. We can do a percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI as it is more frequently known, during cardiac catheterization to open up restricted or blocked coronary artery segments. We can measure the pressure in your heart's four chambers and assess the pumping chamber's ability to contract during cardiac catheterization. We can collect blood samples during cardiac catheterization to assess the oxygen levels in your heart's four chambers. During a cardiac catheterization, we can check for heart valve or chamber problems and extract a small piece of heart tissue, known as a biopsy, for microscopic examination. What dangers are associated with cardiac catheterization? Typically, cardiac catheterization is relatively safe. Minor and infrequent hazards include bleeding, arrhythmia, infection or bruising where the catheter is inserted into the body, and an allergic response to the contrast dye used during the catheterization. How do I prepare for cardiac catheterization? You will typically be instructed to refrain from food and liquids for 6 to 8 hours prior to the catheterization operation. Inform your doctor of any medications you are taking. You may be instructed by the doctor not to take them before to the catheter procedure. If you have any allergies, especially to iodine, medications like penicillin or x-ray dyes, let your doctor know. What takes place throughout a cardiac catheterization? A nurse will insert an intravenous line into a vein in your arm before the catheterization process, so you can receive sedation to help you relax, but you will be awake and able to follow instructions during the procedure. The area where the doctor will be working will be cleaned and shaved by the nurse, typically, this is near the groin, the needle puncture site is often numbed with a local anesthetic. Your skin will be punctured by the doctor's needle into a sizable blood vessel. A small straw-sized tube called a sheath will be inserted into the vessel. The doctor will gently guide a thin long tube called a catheter into your vessel through the sheath. A video screen will show the position of the catheter as it is threaded through the major blood vessels and to the heart. You may feel some pressure in your groin, but you should not feel any pain. The catheter tip can hold a variety of tools. These equipments can be utilized to measure the blood pressure in the heart's chambers and the blood arteries that supply them, to look within blood vessels, to draw blood from various locations around the heart, or to obtain a tissue sample or a heart biopsy. When a catheter is used to inject a dye that can be seen on x-rays, the procedure is called angiography. When a catheter is used to clear a narrowed or blocked artery, the procedure is called angioplasty or a percutaneous coronary intravenous intervention commonly called PCI. When a catheter is used to widen a narrowed heart valve opening, the procedure is called valvuoplasty. The catheter and sheath will be taken out by the doctor. To stop bleeding, your nurse will apply pressure to the puncture site. What takes place following a cardiac catheterization? The procedure to catheterize the heart takes around an hour. After that, you will spend a few hours in a recovery room. You must remain motionless throughout this time. To stop bleeding, pressure will be administered to the puncture site. You won't be allowed to get out of bed and will be instructed to keep your legs straight. Throughout this healing phase, your heartbeat and other vital signs including blood pressure and temperature will be monitored. You will be given written instructions on what to do at home before you leave the hospital. 
In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye.